Welcome back. We're continuing to follow a tornado that touched down in Saluda County on Saturday. WIS reporter Naomi Popa spoke with the National Weather Service to get reaction to claims of residents who say they received a warning of a threatening tornado. I spoke to several residents here in Saluda who said they were worried about not getting a notification or warning on their cell phone regarding the tornado that touched down on Saturday. The EF1 tornado touched down in Saluda County around 818 Saturday night with its path spanning just under a mile. Peak winds reached 100 miles per hour and damaged many forested and wooded areas. According to Joshua Morton, the county's director of emergency management, two homes suffered damage from the tornado. Uh, so, you know, as far as damages, we, we got pretty lucky on this. However, some residents feel they weren't properly informed. A meteorologist from the National Weather Service in Columbia says they just weren't sure if the tornado was going to touch down. Didn't, we weren't sure whether this was going to uh, reach the ground. Uh, the signatures look good. Unfortunately, we missed it. Uh, those things can happen even with the best of technology. Uh, what we strive to do is to learn from it and do better the next time. Take one, two. Morton told me the National Weather Service issues all warnings for potential emergency weather, and that is how residents are informed. So the county also has mass notification technology that will additionally inform residents of the alerts given by the National Weather Service. However, Morton believes while technology can sometimes be helpful to ensure safety, in this case, human error occurred. Morton urges residents to be vigilant and aware of their surroundings. As great as the technology is that the National Weather Service has, there's still a human element to it. And anytime there's a human element, there are opportunities that things may get missed. Uh, so just being vigilant, making sure that, that you're paying attention to what's going on around you is, is really important. We do have a mass notification system called Code Red. Uh, you can register for it uh, by going to the Saluda County website. You can also contact our office and uh, we're happy to help you get signed up for that. Uh, but that is that along with the National Weather Service's weather alert radios are the best way to be notified anytime that there are watches and warnings and advisories issued. Joshua Morton, the director for emergency management in Saluda, says they did away with tornado sirens approximately seven years ago. They have now opted for mass notification technology because they say it's much more reliable. In Saluda, Naomi Popa, WIS News 10.